yeah. people could have, you know, yeah, uh, go in space to grow veg and things. Yeah. So nice. Uh, in fact, some of the sheds over there look like they're, <laughs> they're still from that era, literally. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're the, there's the like, you know, the metal corrugated. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah. So uh, cool, though. Yeah, so I just uh, that was why <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't wake up at my usual uh, five in the morning this morning. Anyway, oh. sorry about that. So yeah, so how how are you? You well? Well, I was going to say uh, gardening reminds me of I saw an article. Um, I was looking into the U University of California Santa Barbara Department of Religious Studies, and uh, apparently their um, their dean is. Um, uh, the current dean is uh, a specialist in uh, Japanese religion, Chin, uh, okay. specifically Shintoism, but also Buddhism and the, okay. the internet. Cool. And uh, he, he wrote an article called, I thought the title kind of caught my eye, Vegetal Buddhas. And it's, it's an Veg article about how in uh, Mahayana, Japanese Mahayana, of course, this is also in Shinran, but um, where he talks about plants trees and earth all attain buddhahood so the yeah. fascinating concept that uh not only what we conventionally think of as living beings but even you know non-living beings like plants and in in the you know grass and the earth itself can can have buddha nature can attain buddhahood yeah. and become buddhas Vegetal Buddha. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I, that was very I like that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Cause everything is, that's, that's the thing. Everything has, but a nature and even though we experience it according to our karmic cause and causes and conditions, both individually and collectively, these other things that it's still everything in samsara is nirvana is, is suchness itself, isn't it? Isn't that the part of the teaching that it's um, that uh, we just don't see it the way it is? It is. Yeah, it's uh, well, as as Shinran puts it, Nirvana, right? It has innumerable names. It is impossible to give them in detail. I will list only a few. Nirvana is called extinction of passions, the uncreated, peaceful happiness eternal bliss, true reality, dharma body, or dharmakaya, dharma nature, or hosho, suchness, oneness, and buddha nature. Buddha nature is none other than tathagata. This tathagata pervades the countless worlds. It fills the hearts and minds of the ocean of all beings. Thus, plants, trees, and land all attain buddhahood. Very no, good. Namo so. Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of which, are we? Yes, shall we start with that? Yes, please. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 All right. Well, with that. Yeah. So, uh, excellent. Thank you for reading that. I was. Uh, you know, in other words, what I often say on this sub on that subject is um, so near and yet so far <laughs> for us. Well, what I think is it's, interesting it's, it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. We just, it's just anyway. <laughs> well, what's interesting about this passage is something that you'll hear miss. Um, you're likely to hear a mistaken idea on floating around the internet or whatever, um, that a Buddha has Buddha nature. Like it's something that the Buddha has. has. You know? yeah. But um, in yeah. fact, the Buddha is Buddha nature. Is Buddha, Buddha nature. nature is to talk yeah. about it. It's a synonymous. It's not a exactly yeah. A relationship of having. It's it's the that is what Buddha is. You know. Um, it might be so confusion that's... about the the different ways in Buddhist cosmology of that 
different sutras maybe explain the ten worlds or the you know especially like the way the Lotus, Lotus mm. Sutra explains it. I think people could confuse what the implications of what that's saying. Mm. Um, but no. yeah. Um, well, any idea as to what we're going to talk about today? Um, well, I was thinking <laughs> continuing with what we've been discussing. Um, <clears throat> the I tried to look up, and I think this is what I'm going to name. I'm going to name uh, this a new series. Anything where I've been having you're really discussing these really core doubts in recent months. I was going to name hitting the wall. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, inspired by Nagake Sensei. I tried to look it up. The actual passage. Yeah. Uh, um... Uh, the actual probably passage, you know, in the writings and uh, i couldn't it came up in a search like i saw it in the you know in the in the search engine um you know yeah. where it gives it gives you know your options to choose and it's in the it's in the there's it's in the text on that you know you know mm. giving you a preview when i go in though it's like it's it's at one of those sites where you can download the pdf you know, and this mm -hmm. and that, um, but this one I couldn't for some reason, and it oh. probably it probably was a pay, and so I couldn't actually see the or and and all it was on that page was like bibliography type stuff. Yeah. So I couldn't. Um, so, but I I saw the line which is and people will hit a wall. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, I I, I started hitting the wall, hit the wall, couldn't find anything. with Jodo Shinshu and Inagaki Sensei, you know. And then I finally said, "Well, let me just change the phrase to like hit the wall." That didn't. And I said, "Maybe hit a wall. Maybe that's what it was under. That's what it came up under. Hit a wall. That that phrase came up in the search." Yeah, box. I I brought up the page. It's actually the English translation is a blog that I um um helped uh melvin lim my friend on facebook he's also a, a devoted shin buddhist follower from malaysia and he translated um actually from the chinese first zikin's <laughs> writings were translated into chinese by a taiwan convert to jodo shinshu and then from the chinese he translated them into english and then i helped to proofread the english and also um, the late uh, Reverend George Gattenby also helped out a little bit with that. Can I share my screen, I wonder? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Let me see if that... Okay. I'm not sure if I can. I think it might be disabled. Hmm. It says oh, sorry, I didn't. Sorry, sorry. I didn't change my settings. Bear with me a moment. Apologies. No, I don't actually want to share. I just want to change the settings. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could just discuss if you if you have it somewhere, maybe we could just discuss that actual, you know, yeah, yeah. bring it in since that's going to be the name of the <laughs> series. Fine, well, people will see. Oh, that's what that means. Anyway, there I think they'll go. get the idea from the uh, <laughs> from the discussions though. Yeah, um, I think so. Um, so this is from a blog called uh, Diamond Like Shinjin. Um, well, and briefly what this blog is about, this work is especially dedicated to Zikin, Saizo, and Nagaki, who sheds light on the pristine and original teachings of Jodo Shinshu, or Shin Buddhism, for many people, including myself. I regard him as my sole teacher and am very much influenced by his words and thoughts, which are deeply imbued the wisdom of compassion of Amida Buddha. I read most of his writings available in the Chinese language, and I wish to share some of his golden words in this blog in English. Uh, Reverend George Gattenby and Mr. Uh, Gabriel Schlafer have been kindly and untiringly assisting me to edit the translated essays so that they are readable and true to the intent of sensei. May all partake of the wisdom of Shinshu teaching and be overpowered by the light of Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. So this is Melbourne. Namo Amida Buddha. Um, so I Next. did yeah. help this. It hasn't been, we haven't done this. And as you can see, it's been 10 years yeah. Since, yeah. since we last <laughs> updated this. Um, but for a while there, we were uh, translating a lot. Well, Melvin was translating and then I would help with the English. Uh, Very cool. 
translation. But this is the the article on hitting the wall. <laughs> so, I don't know if I should just read I this. Or... Yes, definitely. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah, this. Yeah, okay. perfect. This is exactly what I had in mind. So very okay. good. Um, all right. So I'll just read this. Yes, hit please. the wall. Hit the wall. Hit the wall completely. Let it happen as early as possible. I used to speak often about hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall completely. However, what do you really understand about hitting the wall? You want to obtain Shinjin and so make efforts to listen to the Dharma, Chomon, for many tens of years, but you still fail to obtain Shinjin. We say the Nimbutsu or Nianfo, yet we are unable to feel assurance of our birth in the Peerland. What is the matter? Even though we have listened to the Buddha Dharma and pondered it, still we are unable to resolve the problem. This is what hitting the wall means. Uh, the person who had never hit the wall would not be able to see the moon of the primal vow power. Being trapped between impermanence, death, and stupidity, powerlessness, and evil, you find yourself caught on the horns of dilemma and are totally lost without help. This is called hitting the wall. A person truly hits the wall at the time of death. At the time of death, his eyes see no sight, his ears hear no sounds. This is the total darkness. Because the craving of human life has come to an end, it is completely hopeless. Even if a person is without a religion, uh, he or she still lives in fear of death. Therefore, it is a complete horror. Even the Westerners also describe death as the king of horror. Further, when it comes to, to the time of death, one will feel very lonely. This is called complete solitude. This moment will come upon everyone sooner or later. At the bottom of great doubt lies great awakening. The person who has not truly hit the wall will never experience an overwhelming feeling of joyful faith. And then this is a poem. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall of saying the Nimbutsu, the primal vow power. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall of Shinjin, the, the primal vow power. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall completely. The path that opens to us is the primal vow power. For the person who has not hit the wall, no matter how much you have spoken, it is like fixing a lock on tofu, like hammering the nail in the husk. The sequel to 50 years of dilemma is to be able to see the path of the primal vow power. For the person who has never been in a quandary, who has never hit the wall, regardless of how much Buddha Dharma he has listened to, it is of no avail. You have to walk the path until you cannot make any more progress and hit the wall in order to break through. The mind to accept Shinjin reverently is no more. Shinjin cannot be acquired, only the consequence of falling into hell. It is not something that you can obtain. Acquiring Shinjin is still impossible. Accepting reverently is still impossible. Then you will hear inconceivably the calling sound come at once single-heartedly with right mindfulness. This sound of great compassion, of great character, will transmit to you. To the extent that no matter what you do, you will not acquire Shinjin, you will be accepted and taken in by how could I let you, you fall down? If you fall down, let's see. When its energy is spent, the frog is fished out, croaking aloud. <laughs> Zeke, uh, in a <laughs> yeah, so this... that's a lot to take in, but um, I think the, the pith of what he's saying should be pretty, uh, pretty clear. Uh, well, it, it draws out the, you know, for the, the you know, you kind of have to wear, you have to wear, you kind of almost have to wear yourself out. You know what I mean? You have to, with the calculations, you have to, and with not accepting, you know, it kind of goes together. You know, if you're still calculating, you're still not completely seen or accepted your bamboo uh, predicament. Um, you know, and that's, and I have wondered that a lot. Do, do, you know, am I still, do I still just have to, <laughs> yeah. mm. I just wish I could stop though, you know. I yeah. wish I could stop. I got I've gotten to the point where I just, you know, 
I just have started asking Amita to to stop the calculations, <laughs> to stop me calculating, <laughs> to give me his calculations, to give me his mind, his yeah. you know. So, and, the and, problem, the problem yeah. when we frame the issue in those terms, yeah. though, yeah. yeah, is that we then begin to think that there's something exactly. that exactly that that's not already been do, done, yeah, but isn't yeah. doing. Like it's already been done. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's what I know that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's it's, it's as though it's not already been done. It's or it's already mm -hmm. been done. It's just for some yeah. reason, karmically, I cannot see it or i cannot thought whatever yeah so or can't accept it well that's what it seems like it comes down to is hmm. is an ability to simultaneously accept one's lot as a spiritual idiot in samsara and at the same time just stop calculate you know accept just accepting that accepting that it's already you know, it's already been given. You know, it's already been given. I, I, uh, and I also been revisiting the, you know, the 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 mean the the sort of because I've been reading the sutra again, the larger sutra again, two thumbs and again, two and again, wait, <laughs> <God. Yeah. laughs> exactly. Um, and again, um, is the the, um, the the three you know the the faith mind this you know the, the three minds you know in the different places, uh, mm. um, you know sincere mind, joyful mind, and uh, wait is it entrusting mind, joyful mind. Um, Sorry, now I've lost them. So what are the three? You, you, had it, you had it right. It's uh, Shishin, Shingyo, Yokusho. So Shishin is sincere mind. Sincere mind, that's right. Shingyo sincere mind. Shingyo is joyful, joyful faith mind. or faith and joy. Yeah. And then Yokusho is a wish to be born or aspiration. Aspiration to be born. To be born. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. And then it's slightly different in... Um, in the contemplation sutra, uh, right? One of the, yeah. It's deep mind, it's, uh, deep mind yeah. rather than is it? So it's uh, sincere mind, deep mind, and aspiration mind. Yeah, it's um, sincere mind, deep mind, and um, rather than yokusho, I think it's hotsugan eko, which means um, making a vow and transferring merit towards e the, right. The, it's it sounds it's it sounds like it's self power, but it's not. The implications of it are are not. You know, obviously, right. in con everything's in context. Everything is the meaning. Look at the meaning, and you have to look at the context of meaning. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, uh, and then in the and then in the smaller sutra, it just says the it's faith mind or just faith, um entrust what is it is it just entrusting mind it's all in one it says something right. not entrusting mind or true faith mind or um it's all it's all all three in one basically yeah um it's uh and it emphasizes the uh i'm actually bringing it up here really quick because i also am I want to see what it says. Um, it emphasizes solely saying the name, right, in the in the Amida, the smaller mm -hmm. Amida Sutra. Uh, let's see. Wow, the glossary is a lot longer than I remember. Um, <laughs> Are you going to Shinron Works? Is this Shin no, it's because oh. uh, that's a pretty extensive. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's the. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Amida Sutra. Uh, ah, yeah. Um, this one. So maybe I should share it, my screen again. Might be good to bring up, actually. Uh, here we go. 
Yeah, this is at the end of the, the smaller sutra. Mm -hmm. um, after Shakyamuni has said to Shariputra, you know, there are Buddhas in every direction, uh, as numerous as the sands of the Ganges River. And they are praising uh, this sutra and praising the uh, virtue of um, Amida Buddha, right? And saying everyone should accept this sutra. By the way, this is ties into the seventeenth vow of all uh, the vow that all Buddhas should praise my name, right? As this in the in the smaller Amida sutra. Yeah. The yes. Buddhas in every direction are praising um, the name. this sutra, and which, by extension, of course, is the the sutra that tells about the name of Amida Buddha. And then at the end, Shakyamuni says, "Shariputra, why do you think this teaching is called the Sutra of Protection by All Buddhas? Shariputra, all good men and women who hear this sutra and hold fast to it, and also those who hear the names of those Buddhas." are protected by all the Buddhas and dwell in the stage of non-retrogression for realizing highest, perfect enlightenment. This is why, Shariputra, you should accept my words in faith and the teachings of all the Buddhas. And uh, it goes on to say, Shariputra, those who have already aspired, now aspire or in the future will aspire to be born in the land of Amitayas, Buddha, all dwell in the stage of non-retrogression for realizing highest perfect enlightenment. They have already been born, are now being born, or will be born in that land. Hence, Shariputra, good men and women of faith should aspire to birth there. Now, something I want to point out, you see this little, this note, there's a note at the end of also those who hear the names of those Buddhas. Mm -hmm. And this is the translation of the Taisho uh, Tripitaka or the, um, the Daizokyo. But if we go to note 40, um, it points out here, all good people who hear the names of those Buddhas, the popular editions read all good men and women who hear the name of Amida Buddha expounded by all the Buddhas and the name <laughs> of this sutra. Interesting so nuance there. In the, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and this is actually the version of the Amida Sutra that we use, for example, when we chant the, the Amida Sutra. It's mm, the most commonly okay. uh, chanted sutra <clears throat> of the three sutras, partly because it's so short. And it's is sort that, of. It, yeah. yeah. Well, so, what's, do you know, the origin of that difference in the translation? Is there some nuance in the, in the, in the, uh, either the um, the Sanskrit or the Pali or whatever, or that that kind of indicates something else there is going on besides just saying the name of those Buddhas? Um, I'm not sure about the textual history of the textual variants. I do know there are, of course, um, numerous Chinese translations of the larger sutra. Of the Chinese, yeah, also, Chinese yeah. I think of the smaller Amida Sutra, um, and I'm not super knowledgeable about all the textual history and theories. I'm sure there's a lot of different theories. Yeah. But um, it's just, I think you can think of it as a uh, sort of an alternate version, basically. And obviously, um, this version is a bit more specific because it says not just hear the names of those Buddhas, yeah. but uh, hear the name of the name in this case is oh. Amida Buddha, expounded the, by. Yeah, the Buddhas, founded by the Buddhas. Yeah. So I just, well, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm assuming that someone wouldn't, they wouldn't have just done that to make it more, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you know, um, to make it more about, you know, like that. I'm assuming there was something in the, in translating it, you know, yeah. that, indicated some kind of nuance there that you know that they wouldn't you know what i mean so it, it may be um i would have to get i would have to get my copy yeah, of the, anyways, the yeah. mission to scriptures to look at but what it is possible that the chinese is is only the certain characters 
-hmm. and then the Japanese reading, interpreting those characters yeah. is interpreting it as so. In other words, it could be the Chinese characters for yeah. um, here, name all Buddhas, yeah. and so. Yeah. The obvious and most direct translation would be those who hear the names of all these Buddhas, right? But in when you interpret the Chinese scripture text, you can make there are there are actually many possibilities within the text. It's not a closed, you know, this mm -hmm. is the only true reading. And so it's another way of interpreting those, you know, characters might be those who hear the name of Amida, quote in, in brackets implied, expounded by all yeah. Buddha. Yeah. So that would be a way of reading the, the Chinese yeah. text yeah. that would yeah. be uh, well, in accordance it, with this. In a way, it's how when I when we first read it the other way, in my mind, the way it what came to mind immediately was Upaya that you know, these other Buddhas that are now working under the auspices of, you know, uh, under mm. the aegis of Amida Buddha, but these other Buddhas, yeah. are, you know, that if it's a skill and means that if you have, if you establish karmic ties with them, eventually it's a, it's a skill and means to get you to Amida, you know, basically it's yeah. a, it's, and, and, and even, you know, what came to mind immediately for with just that one line, was you know these other Buddhas with their pure lands? It, it almost trains, you know, almost like a skill and means training to say, yeah, you you got the right eye. You're getting the, you know, get get them in the get them in the framework. Okay, we'll get the get them looking at the pure lands. These are the pure lands. But then he'll eventually go, oh, okay, the, the 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 true pure land, the ultimate pure land, is the one we want to. You see what I mean? Like all that came like within, you know you know, within split, you know, seconds, within, you know, less than seconds came to my meaning, came to my mind about Upaya when I read it the first yeah. time. And now reading it this way, it's like, well, kind of that's saying this similar <laughs> thing to what I what came to mind, uh, you know. Yeah. When I, anyways, so. Well, let me, so. that's a great perspective. Let me just share my screen one more time. I do have the original text. That's what comes to mind when I, when I yeah. And uh, I think it's as we suspected. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because right here you have uh, Zin Nanshi Zin Yonin. This is, um, oh, by the way, this site is a site I use a lot. Uh, it's the Japanese scriptures, the entire. Wikidama. Wikidharma. Wikidharma. Yes. Yeah, Wikidharma. Let me yeah. um, show you briefly. So, Dharma, sorry. It's My eyes. <laughs> I go the page. Yeah, my eyes didn't, uh... It's a little small. I I can probably make it bigger, but well, um, I was just looking at the uh, yeah the um, you know the uh, bit in the um, the browser. You know, uh, I can't remember what that's called now. Field, you know, the field where you've yeah. Ah, uh, the the address. Yeah, yeah. The address. Wiki, yeah. Wiki Dharma. The address is. I see that. Yeah. Dharma. Yeah. Dot org. Um, but anyway, can you get the, the can uh, you? Is there an English version of it? Or, no, no, know. no. This is all just Japanese. Okay. Um, but it has the entire Jodo Shinshu canon. So the three sutras, cool. the seven masters, uh, Shinran's writings, and then the nice thing about this site is it's like exhaustive. So it has. Mm -hmm. Not only in the, what's in the Chu Shakuban, the edited, the annotated version, but also all of these other uh, scriptures that are not included in the Chu Shakuban. So anyway, it's a really good site. But um, the good thing is, in the larger in the sutra part, it has um, so Busetsu Amida Kyo. This is the the Japanese uh, uh, reading of the Chinese, and then it has the contemporary translation and then it has the kanbun or the chinese hmm. characters so okay, looking cool. at the kanbun um we can see and uh oh there we go whoa okay um 
Yeah, uh, right here. Now, my I'm my uh, ability to read Kanbun is very, very limited. So bear with me. I And if I make a mistake, then hopefully somebody with more knowledge right. than I can correct. But um, basically, um, uh, this is saying all zin nan shi zin yoni, which means good good sons and good daughters. Mm. Um, Mongo shobutsu, uh, shou setsu myo, uh, myo, I think. Oyobi uh, kyo, kyo no uh, myo shou, or kyo myo shakara. Yeah, I'm not very good at reading it. But basically what this is saying is who hear all, all Buddhas, uh, actually, hold on, the names and the name of this sutra. So kyo is sutra, name, and then show like we accessed, expected this is shobutsu shosetsu myo so the name <clears throat> expounded by all buddhas basically is is what it's saying okay. so the name here um it's not said amida no uh myogo you know it's not explicitly in the chinese said that it's the name of amida but i think we can imply <laughs> from the context that it's the name of Amida, Amida's name, right? So, uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, and, very uh, if some, And then if we look at the Japanese, um, we'll see it's probably the reading is more um, obvious to see. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, okay, right here. Yes, uh, Shari Hotsu, uh, moshi zin nan shi zin yoni narite kono shobutsu no shosetsu no na o yobi kyo no na o eh, kikan mono eh, kono moro moro no eh, zin nan shi zin yoni minna isai shobutsu no tami ni tomo ni eh, can't read the kanji uh, anyway <laughs> so but this is the part that is relevant so right here we look at na or name, um, you notice in the in the annotation it says Amida Butsu no Mina. So Amida's name is okay. what it said. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there, there it is. Yeah, good. So anyway, that was a, a little textual tangent. But I, 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 I wanted to I'm glad thank you for doing that because I really that's why I asked that question. I really wanted to draw that out so that we wouldn't so people wouldn't be left with the impression it's a bit weird that they just change that like you know what i mean um yeah so i i'm i I'm, and i was like you know i was like okay i'm sure that there's a that there's mm -hmm. a you know there's some there's some nuance some textural yeah. thing there's some that that right. reason that yeah so anyways yeah. basically it's the the kanbun the chinese scripture um just says name without saying which name mm -hmm. or who mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then it's uh, the interpretation of that in the the Japanese reading of the kanbun. Um, it's implied that it's the name of Amida. Yeah. So nam namo yeah. Amida. So. Context, context, context. <laughs> yes. And also, you won't know this stuff if you don't understand at least some of the, you know, the text itself, not just the English translation, but the Japanese yeah. underlying yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, sure. Sure. Exactly. Not saying that I have all that knowledge. I only I've only scratched the surface of, of all that. <laughs> so yeah. Um so we so we were there was a reason we were going through uh, yeah. this. We were back. talking about we, uh the three we expound, we digress, we come back. <laughs> yeah. This um, was all for there's all for a reason. This is for you know. And the reason was you were discussing your experience of rereading, reading, and rereading the yes. uh, the sutras, yes. and also yes. how the uh, Shinjin or the threefold, well, in the larger sutras, the three different minds. In, well, not really different minds, but sutra, it's the threefold mind or the three minds, and then in 
Amida Sutra, it's the um, one mind, right? And so uh, I think it's a it's a good point. It's amazing. I think it's great that you actually have noticed that just through reading the sutras. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Well, and certainly also helped by uh, listening to uh, Reverend Dr. Matsumoto's uh, Shinjin lectures, mm, um, yeah. where he goes into some detail, um, <laughs> amazingly, in the period of time that, that he covers the subject yeah. um, in each lecture. But uh, yeah, um, but anyway, so... Yeah, the um, so I was looking at that. The reason I was looking at that, or thinking about that, or came came to mind is, you know, it, and this is what I always come back to with it is all of these things. I'm not the origin of it, <laughs> of these minds, of these. The, it, it's coming from Amida. It's all Amida's mm. doing. It's all Amida's. I don't conjure up, you know, my ability to entrust or have faith or, you know, and, and when, when we say faith in Buddhism, we mean taking at one's word. We mean, you know, mm. we, we, we mean, we, you know, we, we mean we've, you know, we've looked at, we've studied the Dharma, we've, you know, we've, we've heard of Jacques teachings, we've, you know, and we've said, okay, as Paul Roberts used to say, he's the smartest guy in the room. You know, he's, <laughs> he's it. He is the ultimate smartest. He's the ultimate uber smartest guy in the room for all universes everywhere. Yeah. For all time. And, uh, you know, so we, we, t we trust, therefore, <laughs> you know, we trust anything he taught about the cosmology. We trust, you know, even the provisional, you know, provisional teeth, you know, provisional teachings, any teachings that came from Chakimuni, these are true in some way. We accept the truth of those. Um, so anyway, yeah, is that is that right, basically, that it's, and therefore we, when we hear it, we trust it. Right, well, yeah, it's I not, mean. It's not uh, just a, it's not, it's not blind faith. It's not. No, no. It's, it's not, not like blind it's you've become convinced you be, being convinced. Right. This is another, <laughs> this is another aspect of, I think, you know, the, the, Jodo, the, the Jodo Shinshu teaching that um, resembles the, uh, or even Buddhist teaching resembles the, you know, the 12 step programs <laughs> again, where is as um, you know, there's, there's a place in the, in the, in the uh, Alcoholics Anonymous big book that says, um, being thoroughly convinced that, you know, of our lot, you know, as basically, I can't remember the exact wording mm. in, the, in the text. I do, I do love, I, did, I, I haven't read it in a long time, but I love the way it's worded because it's very much in that, in the 1930s uh, <laughs> vernacular, yeah. the, way it, the way it expressed things. So it's quite, and he was a bit of a character, Bill W. So do you know what I mean? He was very, you know, mm. all those thinkers at the time that were kind of verbose and had that sort yeah, of, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, that in that kind of, you know, early to mid 20th century, you know, uh, anyway, so the, um, so being convinced, so, you know, being thoroughly convinced that, you know, so it's, it's convinced of the, um, you're convinced of your lot in life. You know, you're as, a, as a, in, in, in the AA big book. So it's, you're convinced of your, like the, 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 uh, your lot, your, 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 the true circumstances and situation, perilous situation mm -hmm. of your um, alcoholism, your addiction. And at the same time, you, you're convinced of the spiritual principles. So it's kind of, it's very similar to, yeah. <laughs> you're convinced of you're a bamboo. You know, you're yeah. convinced that, that you're, you're, you know, that you're, you know, you, you, of your, you know, you're, you, you, the light has been shown, you've been exposed, you've been, <laughs> you've been, there's no hiding from the light. The light has, you know, of Amida has illumined that and you can't, you know, and, and at the same time, you see the truth of the, the, uh, 
the spiritual principles, you know, uh, the, the, the spiritual teachings, the, you know, uh, of, of Buddhism and, uh, and, and uh, of the Jodo Shinshu teachings and, uh, and Dharma masters. And you, uh, so it's a very similar, you know, it's a very similar moment. Um, and that, but that's what being convinced is more you're convinced you're convicted isn't it it's not just a it comes from experience and really ex, you know it really examining the gold of the dharma to see that it's gold um right yeah i think that's yeah. the important point is you know it's it's when you have sort of tested and tried the teachings for yourself and yeah. you know for yourself that it's yes. gold. And exactly. not, not just because you took it to some essayer and they told you it was gold, but exactly. you know it. it's it's gold. I know it's gold. And yeah. then I can say, okay, I can take Shakyamuni Buddha at its word at his word. You know, it seems almost right. it's you know, me saying that way, it just seems so ridiculous <laughs> to even that I wouldn't take him <laughs> at his word. Do you know what I mean? It's just like uh, you know, uh, but that's the calculating mind. It is utterly ridiculous. You know, yeah. this is the this is a this is the Buddha. This is the this is the Nirmanakaya Buddha. This is you know of our time. This is the you know this is a Mita Buddha. <laughs> you know, this mm. is not you know this is the this is the Buddha of you know a beginningless past. That and I'm not going to take him at his word. <laughs> it just seems ridiculous to not be able to do that. But that is. That not that part of the calculating mind? Because I still, you know, there's there must be doubts because it's all connected. The doubts of, you know, if, if I'm doubting aspects of Jodo Shinshu or aspects of the teaching there, I'm doubting <laughs> the whole thing, aren't I? You know, and I'm doubting the source. Well, I think I think the important thing here in Sh Shinran also talks about this is. <clears throat> When it comes to the Buddhist teaching, because it's vast and there's a lot of stuff, <laughs> you know, in the in all the different sutras, um, the important thing is distinguishing um, the true and real from the provisional and false. So, um, distinguishing basically true from provisional, if we're talking about within the, the Buddhist um, Dharma, um, and so. It's it's not that we just read it, we take it all, and we just believe it literally, and it's just ah, uh, and there's no more like we can't think about it or whatever, and critically engage with it. It's more like we, because we are able to discern what is true, the true and real intent, you know, of Shakyamuni's teaching, which according to Shinran is. Uh, found in the larger sutra in its in its completeness, um, then we are able to see the provisional aspects as provisional, and mm -hmm. so we we kind of cease to be. It's not the the thing I want to mm -hmm. caution against is like this all or nothing approach where, uh, and I know of some people, one in particular who says like, if you don't believe this little part of the of the Buddha, you know, of the something written in some sutra somewhere, then you can't believe any of it. It's the fundamentalist argument. Mm -hmm. the fundamentalist oh yeah, argument. that's not. Yeah, that's not believe. what I was saying. Yeah, that, uh, right, uh, right. So that's, that's what not you what I was saying. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, no, it's not that. You know, I wasn't saying it in that way. It wasn't. No, that's definitely. I was saying it. Just that you know, there is that because that teaching, this this teaching about Amida, this teaching, mm -hmm. it comes from Shakyamuni Buddha. So I can't just go, you know, so I can't, you know, I'm doubt, you know, I'm doubting that, you know, um, but, it, you know, because that's what it comes back to. That's, I mean, Shinran emphasized that himself. I am a disciple of Shakyamuni. You have to, mm -hmm. you have to exactly. be all in. You've got to be, when it comes right. to Shakyamuni, yeah. and yes, seeing the, you know, the four, the four provisional, you know, the four making provision teachings versus the true teachings or essential teachings um you have to see that but you know it just comes back to that you know it's not just a well i you know i don't buy this 
this <laughs> pure land stuff, uh, but I do. I'm down, totally down with. Do you know what I mean? I right, I, right. I can yeah. see for yeah. me, it it's yeah. all connected. It's all yes. you know. That, that comes back to that. And I see the you know. I saw that. That was one of the first things I was like, aha! One of the first big aha moments when I was listening to you know Paul Roberts videos and mm. and participating in the Truish and Buddhist um, you know online group was that was was that in that you know the you know there's that first you know there's that first thing you got to reckon with are you you know do you truly accept that shakyamuni buddha is the buddha of our time is the world teacher is yeah. the world's teacher you know right. is the ultimate and is you know are you convinced of that are you you know that's where I, he didn't put it that way but anything like that mm -hmm. this is just my own you know, mm -hmm. but that's what it kept, kept coming back. I'm like, yeah, that is so. I was like, you know, I didn't at first when I was exploring Jodo Shinshu and, and pure, well, Pure Land Buddhism first and then Jodo Shinshu, I didn't, I didn't really, you know, you mm -hmm. just kind of assume, but you, I didn't get that piece that, oh, maybe I'm not fully convinced of, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think. So no, I wasn't saying it in that, yeah, fundamental sense, like that. You know, do you believe this as literally true in every sutra? Because if that's the case, you you're gonna have some major. If you accept everything, <laughs> everything as literally true, you, you're gonna have some strange things you, you're trying to you're, you're trying to accept. You're gonna have some, you know. Good luck uh, reading the the Nirvana Sutra. <laughs> and and you're assuming that's it's awfully arrogant that you think you're going to be able to do that because it'd be my, you right. just would blow your, you'd blow your mind if you could hold all that and see all that as you know yeah. or you'd be a, you'd already be a Buddha you'd already be there <laughs> so like <laughs> if you could see that it was you know because what you know. And it also takes away from Opaya, like the, 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 the you know, yeah. right. That the, what, the way that Shakyamuni presented things at different times to different people in different places. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and also because he is the Buddha thinking down the road to other people receiving it, you know, receiving him in the Dhamma, which is, he is the Dharma, yeah. you know, that they're going to you know, like thinking of all these different ways, you know, that's all written into that. So yeah. probably even, he probably even foresaw, you know, he, he would have foresaw the translations and everything. Like, so, you know what I mean? But it's, he mm -hmm. did it, it's Opaya, he, he does it as Opaya. And then in the Samadhis where he guides people, you know what I mean? Right. They, you know, so it, he, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Upaya. You can't, you can't take it. It's lit, you literally can't take it literally. <laughs> because yeah. it's like that. too for me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. I, I like to. Uh, I remember. Um, well, you know, along with uh, <clears throat> that, there's. I think it was Karl Barth, maybe the great um, Protestant theologian, 20th century. Uh, Karl Barth said. I take the Bible too, far too seriously to take it literally. <laughs> Bart Ehrman? Are you talking about Bart Ehrman? Bart Ehrman. Carl Bart. Carl oh, Bart. Bart. The, oh, Carl Bart. Great. Okay. Uh, Protestant That's like something Bart Ehrman would say, actually. It's, uh, well, Bart he, Ehrman he, he doesn't did, believe the yeah, Bible yeah. at all. So I think. What's that? Who does? Sorry. Bart Ehrman doesn't believe the Bible at all. Okay. <laughs> that, well, true. That's true. That's true. But he's weirdly. Gnostic and spiritual in his way, he, you know, the things he'll say in the end, you're like, it's, it's like, are you sure that you don't? <laughs> right? Anyway, um, sorry, coming back, coming back, we digress. Yes, but, right, right. Anyway, well, I, but I think it's I haven't, same. I haven't heard any of his, I haven't heard him in a long time. I haven't listened to him been mm. many years since I, uh, anyway, but yeah. And uh, Carl Bart was the, um, the theologian who, um, began to dialogue with uh, Shojun Bondo, the uh, Shin Buddhist minister in, to in Tokyo. And uh, the through that dialogue, he basically came to the realization that the um, 
that reformed Protestant Christianity didn't have an exclusive claim to um, salvation by grace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he came to the realization that uh, it's not um, the unique, unique in, in the world, so to speak, through that um, encounter with Shin Buddhism. So that's a little interesting note. <laughs> De definitely. On that note, just a side note. My father-in-law, who's a Quaker, um, is been asked to put together, I think, a presentation mm. of exactly that, of the idea of grace in like every yeah. religion. And so he's asked me about, you know, oh, that great. Itself. And I'm like, well, it's definitely there. It'll be expressed very differently than that. But so we're looking for a really good, but it's mainly a quote he wants. Mm. someone either a teacher or from the sutras or you know yeah. something that points in that direction you know that would you know um well anyway. shinron i don't know if it's translated this way we have to look but shinron uses the term grace in in japanese oh omegumi it literally omegumi. means it literally means the grace of the Buddha, something that is freely it's given. freely given. Yeah, is that's that's what I was saying to him. I said, well, especially in my in the Jodo Shinshu, it's very much a <laughs> it's very much a uh, uh, you know the implications of the teaching are essentially that is is that yeah. it's a it's a freely given wisdom and compassion. The mind of the Buddha itself is just freely given all the time, yeah. forever, since beginningless time. So, you know, um, but anyways, yeah. That's great though. I think um, that that is one of the uh, areas where interfaith dialogue and comparative religious studies can actually be helpful and useful <laughs> mm -hmm. is finding those commonalities. Because one thing that fundamentalists like to do is say, well, no other religion teaches about grace and only you know, only Christianity yeah. <laughs> teaches this stuff. And that's just not true. <laughs> yeah, no. As we, of course, no. I just know that. Exactly, yeah. But, um, exactly. you know, there's the concept of, of grace is present in Islam, it's present in Hinduism, it's present in Buddhism, of course, notably uh, Jodo Shinshu, but also I think other traditions as well. Um, you know, it, it's a totally, it's a common, I think wherever you have human beings, you know, because religion is a human thing, yeah. you're going to have these, these same themes popping yeah. up. And we have, we have the bamboo mind. We have the, we have the, you know, we have the, we're, in, we're, we're, we're sentient beings in samsara. We're going to have, you know, we're going to, in the human world realm, we're going to have like, divisions and prejudices and you know and you know that you know or, or preconditioned is what i mean uh, you know thinking about things and you know calculations and but uh i mean i think it probably the implications and the meaning the ultimate you know implications and meaning of it might be a bit different from you know obviously you know cosmologically yeah. and and things from but but uh yeah but definitely see what you're what you're saying i think um, anyway you, you were, were going to draw out the meaning from from the japanese of, from shinron's say mentioning uh, grace you come back to that yeah yeah uh i was actually going to try and find it here hold on a second um but yeah the in japanese um and this is where you know uh Reverend Ray also mentioned this, I think, in an article he wrote. <clears throat> and um, one thing I don't like about sometimes the way I, I sometimes will quote someone as saying something without having the source. <laughs> right. Uh, yes. I kind of don't like doing that because um, it's always better to have the source. Uh, but it's in the other room and I would have to go. It would take me a while to go and find where he says it. But anyway, he, def he definitely says, you know, we actually have the word for grace in in Buddhism, which is megumi, means um, 
grace. I mean, that's what it means. <laughs> and, so, and so why we don't translate it as such is a little bit of a puzzle. And sometimes there's um, there's a tendency um, to, and I think Jerome DeCore also talks about this and why he's not a huge fan of the term Shinjin, uh, just transliterating it. Because when you transliterate it, um, then you just have to explain it anyway. And, uh, you know, faith, entrusting, uh, you know, having confidence in a person's word yes. because of their confidence. character uh, is, you know, the, the figure for Shin or faith is a word and a person. The character, the Chinese character for person, I, I have to write this backwards, for person, and then the Chinese character for word. So it's basically a person's word. And so um, the word is reliable because of the character of the, the person is trustworthy and vice versa. You know, it's like a, a gentleman is as good as his word, you know, <laughs> as, 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 uh, as you <laughs> say. <laughs> Um, but that's literally the meaning. Those other might say, "You take my, you take my word as my life, and my life as my word." Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on, just a sec. I am trying to uh, oh to figure out how my. Oh, it's a bit strange. Why is it not uh, working here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, hmm. technical difficulties my um for some reason my japanese is not coming up which is hmm. very strange um hold on let me try this okay <clears throat> oh there we go oh. ah yeah here it is see um Okay, so uh, it appears twice in Shin uh, Songo Shinzo Meimon, which is uh, what's it called? Well, uh, Collective Voice of Shinran has this very unwieldy notes on the inscriptions of sacred scrolls as, a, as the title. But uh, anyway, um, I just have to locate where this is in the English text, so give me a second. Okay. Uh, okay, it's at the beginning of the second half. Genshin Kasho. Do you want to share this? Well, just, well when uh, you find it, if you find yeah, it. Yeah, when I find it, I will share it, but I have to um, see. It's on the... Uh, about Genshin's... <laughs> Um, uh, here it is. Yes, okay. Uh, I found it. Whoa. Nice. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Hold on. Okay. Um, so first, what I want to do is show the meaning of the word in Japanese. So megumi, right here, mm -hmm. means... Um, Blessing or grace. Sure. And in the context of, you know, hotoke, hotoke no on megumi, you know, uh, the own, the, the honorific is placed mm -hmm. before the word. Mm -hmm. So this is like, you know, kind of the, the, the blessing or the grace that is received from, that is given by the Buddha, you know. So there really is this especially when you have, you know, popular faith in the context of Japanese Buddhism. Um, <laughs> a lot of people in the in the West today like to pretend that Buddhism is all intellectual and, and free of any kind of concepts of religion. And, and uh, you have the whole nonsense about Buddhism not being a religion, <laughs> which is total hooey. <laughs> um, uh, so that's, decidedly not the case um and so i wanted to show where now 
in the collected works of Shinran, they decide to translate this word Megumi as blessing, which mm -hmm. of course is one possibility. <laughs> but I think it's important to remember that it really is a a, ben a benefit or a blessing that is given to by the Buddha without necessarily even being asked or without mm -hmm. um without being earned you know to kind of the parallel with you know grace in yeah. a christian tradition without, so being let me earned, without being earned asked or even known of <laughs> yeah you know for, yeah. for a long time for many many kotis of <laughs> kalpas of you know yeah exactly by, by um, us ignorant beings it takes takes a while it takes a while to get through to us yeah indeed anyway so let me let me read and i will highlight when we <laughs> find the word that is own megumi uh, or grace or blessing the inscription and praise of master genshin <laughs> of Yogo in although although i too am within amida's grasp Blind passions obstruct my eyes, and I cannot see the light. Nevertheless, great compassion untiringly and constantly illumines me. And now this is Shinran's commentary. Although I cannot see, although with eyes of blind passions, it is impossible to see the light. Great compassion untiringly. Uh, the blessing or own megumi, of great love and compassion never wearies. Constantly illumines me. Unhindered light constantly illumines the person of Shinji. Constantly illumines means constantly protects. Um, me, realize that great love and compassion tirelessly and constantly protects this self. This is the blessing own Megumi, of being grasped never to be abandoned. Know that this passage sets forth the meaning of the words, sentient beings of the Nimbutsu are grasped never to be abandoned. So, and these two, and note the blessing of great love and compassion or the, the grace of great love and compassion never wearies and is illuminating me. So this is really not something that we can, you know, earn. You, you can't earn someone's, no. uh, you can't earn great love and compassion, right? <laughs> no, you can't. Exactly. I, mean, I'm, I am loved because I've been a good boy, you know. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The, you know, it's an interesting... This is something in, in the next bit down in, in Shinran's uh, expounding. He says, constantly illumines me. Unhindered light constantly illumines the person of Shinjin. Mm. Unhindered light constantly illumines. It's interesting that he says the person of Shinjin there. Mm. The, that to me suggests a broader meaning of Shinjin <laughs> than just someone with settled Shinjin, or one thought moment. Uh -huh. That is a broader, <laughs> that's a much broader meaning of Shinjin than because the light, unhindered light constantly illumines, period. Mm -hmm. You know, so the person of him adding that the person of Shinjin, that's yeah. that's a broader meaning of Shinjin. And I that's a broader meaning than just yeah, you know, uh, those who is settled Shinjin or 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 those whose birth is settled. That's a that's definitely a broad because because the light constantly illumines everywhere all the right. time everyone yeah everything yeah. every being everywhere every when yeah so yeah that's and interesting that's very I think interesting. You could, this could can um you know could possibly also include people who who are of uh you know whose Shinjin is not yet settled but are still people of unsettled Shinji, right? Yeah. So <laughs> that's which is what I've been talking about in all of my videos, in all of our discussions from the <laughs> from the beginning. Um the process, you know. That's what I've been saying yeah. lately is with all this is trust the jinin. 
<laughs> trust the process, trust the gin. Just, you know, there's some parts of you, even though you don't really, you're just, and you're, you're, you're really, you're doubting everything and you're just, you know, and you're, or you're questioning everything and you're, you know, some parts of you, i.e. but in nature, some parts of you, some aspect of you, some, you know, the ultimate, you know, mm. trusts, trusts it, trusts the process, knows it. So just trust the process, just trust the jinn in, you know. Uh, that's what I have to be saying uh, in these times when I'm... And uh, I did want to uh, just sort of uh, point out that the the own Megumi here is highlighted in that passage we just read. So this is the the concept of uh, blessing or be grace, beneficence, um, the benevolence of the Buddha uh, towards us, right? It's it's not like <clears throat> we're being good to the Buddha and therefore the Buddha gives us these things, right? It's, it's not, it's, that's certainly not the case. And uh, this in Japanese is really beautiful. I just thought I would um, uh, read it. Seshu fusha no onmigumi no kokoro arawashita mo nari. Nimbutsu shujo seshu fusha. That's from Kangyo, the Contemplation Sutra. No kokoro shakushita maheru nari to shirubeshi to nari. So we should know that this grace, this benefit, this blessing mm -hmm. of being embraced, never to be abandoned, uh, is what the meaning of uh, the living beings of the Nimbutsu are taken in and not thrown away. That's the meaning, the, the heart of what the Contemplation Sutra uh, says. So, so yeah, wow. So that Excellent. would be a great um, message to uh, maybe share with your yeah. Quaker uh, father-in-law for his presentation. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I might let, I might uh, tell him about this session, actually. I might, I might uh, send them the link for this one, so I upload it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send but, you the link to the that passage too from collected uh, yes work. definitely i was gonna say send me anything that you think is kind of relevant that, that would it would definitely be so but yeah um so well we certainly have covered a lot of that's ground. the thing we've kind of we've come come full circle with talking about this aspect of of uh amita's working it, you know is that is the grace the blessing that it's on free freely freely given. I think the, the avoidance of the word grace is it for a lot of people, I think probably conjures up all sorts of things from Christianity that they'd rather not, you know, be, yeah. you know, just any of those meanings and things. It, and I, I'd say I probably am among them, you know, I, you know, that might change, but, it, you know, I kind of get it. I kind of get that, that there's probably a better way to say it, but, um, or another way to say it, but you know, but it's equally, I can see that it's that is, you know, if you could, you know, the problem is with what that what's happened in my own life and my own karma about mm. that word, in that word, not the word, not the word itself, not the meaning of the word itself, but yeah, anyway, but um, but anyway, we've kind of come around to the, what I was kind of saying in the beginning, it's our. When, we, when I mentioned about, you know, talking about, even though I'm asking, you know, like asking me to just give, just take, just take away my calculations, give me your calculations. I know in that instant when I'm asking, it's already be, that's, it, it's already done. He did it. He's done it. It's, it you know, it, 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 you know, yeah. Mm. Hitting the wall to go back to hitting the wall again. Hitting, uh, you know, and you know, coming back to that analogy of the twelve step, hitting the hitting bottom. You know, you almost have to hit, you have to hit bottom before you can accept your perilous situation and the spiritual principles. You kind of, you know, that's you know, it's sort of I don't know. There's some there's an analogy there that with with Jodo Shinshu that I think is is a similar. A similar thing 
you know, I, what I'm coming up against is, is, is my own bamboo hood, <laughs> my own bamboo nature mm. and trying well, to, I... still trying to, still trying to somehow operate within that to make it work or figure it out or uh, slot it in or position myself the right way <laughs> or mm. <sighs> but i just need to sit still i just need to just i don't need to do anything i don't not even i don't even need to sit still i just need to it's just it's already happening it's just calculating away it's like from num you know you know the scenes in numbers where you know the show numbers oh you never watch that sorry they there's a show numbers where this mathematician's helping the fbi and mm -hmm. this you know, amazing mind and so they show his mind when he when he's explaining something to him they kind of show the kind of illustrations and calculations and examples he's giving in his they show yeah. his mind basically you know and that's kind of like that's you know here here's you know the light shining everywhere and you know it's all you know amazing you know the ultimate wisdom compassion the buddha's mind shining everywhere and and there's this frenzy in my mind you know these calculations but you know, you know. here's I, here's what i would recommend or i have a suggestion rather um <clears throat> well of course i think it's wonderful that you are reading the sutras yes yeah i'm Again. gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going um, and then and then out. yeah yeah <laughs> And read them and then read them and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna read, you know, the yeah. uh Kyogyo Shinshu collect and collected works and just keep I'm just gonna keep going in that direction. So but, as and suggested I, by by Reverend Ray mm, and others yeah. and others. Exactly, yeah. I think maybe maybe so your you mentioned your kind of, you know, your um let's say um uh prayer as it were to amida to give to you know yeah. <laughs> give me those that uncalculated yeah. mind i would argue i would or i would suggest to you maybe, uncalculate uncalculate my mind with your calculations you know that sort no. of thing even though um, i know you're already doing that i'm still gonna ask like i just i didn't know what i don't know what sometimes you get to that point you don't know what else to do i just like you know other than say nambutsu you know and right. trust the genin Trust the jinn. Just trust. Trust the jinn. And I think, you know, the the hard part for me, speaking personally, and it's a bit of a the riddle or the koan, so to speak, is when Rinyo and Sh uh, uh, Shinron and Rinyo talk about um, throwing away or casting away the the mind of self power, because. It's it's hard. There's a paradox there of throwing away your self power mind with through self power, power, power mind. Self power <laughs> mind. Yeah, yeah. And, and Zekin talks about this too. And so um what I would suggest uh instead, maybe instead of you know asking Amida to give you, you know, a mind or <laughs> To, to take away your calculations um maybe thank amida for his light of love and compassion that is shining everywhere including on you on me yeah. you know yeah. and, and so that sort of refocuses our mind away from me yeah. Yeah. And my yeah. head yeah. and gets us out of that headspace into opening up ourselves to receive the ocean. The the Megumi, the own Megumi, the blessing or the benefit, the grace, you know, yeah. if you like that yeah. word, that is being given now. Like Shinron says, the mind, this mind is being given to all beings, you know, and that's like everything so yeah. so my that would be my suggestion is maybe make a make it a practice of thinking, thinking. rather yeah. than asking 
Agreed. Does that make yeah. sense? Does that kind of it, make sense? It does. No, it, it does. And and that's the thing. Even as I when, when I when I've over the years with different where I've approached that similar when mm -hmm. I'm asking you, I even say in in that like I know we don't do this in Jodhpur. I know that we do, it's not we don't really pray to Amida for things. You know, it's not part of our. That's, and but I and I'll say that I was like I know that's not even but I don't know what else to do so I'm gonna it's just gonna do this <laughs> do you know do you know what I mean but yeah I can see now that that yeah that's a good way to do it is reframe your reframe your approach there right so the problem the reason why we don't do it is not just because yeah. we don't do it you know for some yeah, no serious reason the no reason no we don't do it yeah is, I know yeah yeah it's it, you know, that because sorry, it um. Uh, we we find we end up digging ourselves even deeper. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> just the whole of we're, we're praying our ourselves soul. further into calculations. You know, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because um, by its nature, by the nature of what and who Amida is, <laughs> there's no, there's nothing being withheld on, you know. Amita side, like Amita isn't saying, you know, I'm gonna not give the this this benefit to to uh, uh, someone because they aren't asking for it. You know what I mean? So rather than asking, it's really more of a process of opening ourselves to receive what is already being given, and. The way we can do that is, first of all, Chomo listening to the Dharma, yep. you know, of course. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But um, but as Zikan Sensei says, you know, you can do that for uh, 50 years and still hit the wall. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. Um, <clears throat> so, but, but it's really, so that is helpful, you know, listening. Yeah, when to I the, say I don't know what else to do, I do know what else to do. Listening deeply, Chomo, you know, listening to the mm -hmm. teaching, read the sutras, you know, continue with the Dharma dialogue. Um, saying them but to you know all these things I when I say I don't know I do know what to do but yeah I, I still reach that wall hitting point I'm like ah so I'm just gonna say <laughs> I'm just gonna say this to you Vivita I don't you know yeah. yeah I'm gonna ask this but yeah yeah reframing um, it re shifting the shifting the the <laughs> the, the the way that you think about that shifting you know, mm. to uh, receiving what all, what's already there, what's already being be already been and being given all yeah. at all times, all places, everywhere, every when, every universe, every multiverse, every right. Yeah. Specifically, me, <laughs> me, yeah, and me, yeah, yeah. specifically. <laughs> Teaching is for me alone. So maybe maybe my suggestion is to transition from a process from a practice of asking to a practice yeah, of gratitude yeah. or a, to a practice. I of agree. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that asking often. It's not. It's it's only at really the point where I just get okay. What else you got? I've done all. I'm doing all these things. What else you got? What else you got? What else you got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, it's good that you know from the hitting the wall passage we read that you know it's not an experience that is unique to you. No, no, certainly <laughs> or to me, definitely or to not. Other people, anyway. exactly. So that is definitely going to be the title of the uh, of this series of these over the past few months, where we you know I start uploading them. They'll be yeah hitting hitting the wall. <laughs> That's great. I think it's a great title. Yeah. 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 really good all right well thank you so much i think we probably reached the yeah point yeah i think we covered discussion a lot of has gone on for as long as it has to discussions <laughs> will go on for as long as they have to yeah exactly um, i think we've uh, i think we've reached uh, this one today so thank you so much um mm -hmm. yeah i'll send that passage um yes, and please. uh yeah Oh, by the way, next week I will be in Kyoto uh, 
undergoing the training session for Tokudo. So I, I will not be ah, able to. <laughs> excellent. Yes, that's finally we'll arrived. Have, we'll, have yes. speak, uh, we'll have to pass next week and then hopefully okay. meet. And then the next time I can maybe share my experience, how it goes. Hopefully it won't go too badly. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I look I look forward to it. <laughs> All right. Shall Very we close to Nimbutsu? Please. All right. Dasho. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda. Naman. 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 Nam. All right. So uh, I will see you next, next week. The week after next, I guess, will be. Indeed. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yes. All right. Take care. All the best. Bye. All right. See you.